What the fuck is up, YouTube? What's going on? Yeah, you like my brown belt? I love this shit. So, yeah, just real quick. I'm about to head out in a little bit. Probably stroll around through town. Pick up a chick or two. Maybe three or four. You know? But, uh, quick fit check before I dip. What do you fucking think of that shit? Boom, look at those boots and shit. I ain't wearing combat boots no more. But, yeah. Fucking A. So, hell yeah. So, yeah, like yesterday, guys, I told you. I asked out this one chick. She was a fucking 10. I'm a 10. She was very attractive. And uh, I had to shoot my shot twice because the first time I kind of flaked, you know. I could tell that she probably might have had a boyfriend because she was looking at me when we were talking and blushing and shit. But it's like she seemed like she kind of wanted to get away or, like, was really anxious. So I kind of just levitated away. But today, I'm going to shoot my shot a couple more times. I got... One girl that's on my radar that I saw a while ago, I didn't ask her out. I really should have. I really should have asked her out because she would have definitely went on a date with me. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was going to tell you guys. I'm going to be approaching some ladies, some girls today. And, uh, fuck. You know, I'm tired of living a life of regret. Fuck rejection. I'd really be rejected, honestly than live invisible and alone forever. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> That's why I'm so fucking confident and happy. Because, you know, I realize that I can pull bitches. And I've been putting myself out there. And holy shit. It's been making me so fucking confident. You know? So, yeah. You guys, next time you guys see a cute girl, shoot your shot. But, all I want to mention to you guys... That, uh, fuck. Um, yeah, just, if you want uh, an idea, like like I said, just how to pick up girls, just search up picking up girls, and you'll see people talk to girls. It's really fucking easy. It really is. But, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, stop living life a life of reject regret, because... I'm telling you, there's so many opportunities out there that you could be missing right now. And the fuck? But yeah, you just guys, you gotta fucking live a life of fun. You gotta enjoy life while you can. Because life isn't forever. Uh, and like I said, rejection, it sucks, but it doesn't. Because at the end of the day, you're not here to convince anybody to like you. You're here to find somebody that actually does like you and you like them. You know, it doesn't matter if you get rejected and don't worry about the embarrassment. There is no embarrassment. You know, what's really embarrassing being an incel that lives online and on Reddit and talks about how women are nasty and all that shit and how you're a misogynist because women treat you like shit. That's what's fucking embarrassing. What's fucking righteous and bold as fuck is putting yourself out there. You don't have to be an Adonis to do it. You just have to have some balls, and I have some balls, but they're not huge, but I've been talking to girls lately. There's not many to choose from, so it makes it really difficult. Uh, so, yeah, but, uh, what can I? Stop living regret and, like, enjoy life, people, because a lot of you guys out there are fucking single and lonely. And, uh, I really pity you, you know, you're out and about and you see an attractive girl and she looks approachable, approach her, talk to her, ask her out, worst that can happen is she says no, or really the worst that can happen is she, you think she's the love of your life and she turns out to be this crazy fucking ex that stalks her every move. That's the worst case scenario and that's not going to happen probably, but that is the worst case. Or her boyfriend comes out of nowhere and decides to fight you because you have shattered his minuscule ego. That's the size of his pinky dick. So, yeah, just try not to worry about that type of stuff. I promise you'll be alright. But, uh, yeah. I'm out of 5,000. I'll update you guys later. Peace. Peel.